In 2015, the United Nations identified 17 global goals for humanity. That includes famine, that includes food supply, it includes health and so on. Because the project is a large-scale project and uh, the technologies that it develops, it, it has the potential for a big impact. In Sri Lanka, the farmers committing suicide. According to the newspaper reports, it was about 4,000 a year, which come to about 11 deaths a day. And then later I found the similar problem exists in India, which is about 20,000 farmers dying every year. There is some relationship between the suicide rates, the poverty and oversupply. In the long term, farmers tend to take loans and then try to grow the crops. And if they can't sell it, obviously they can't pay back the loans and they get tied into a poverty cycle. And in desperation, only option for them, the way they think becomes uh, that they need to commit suicide because they, have, they can't see any other way. So based on that, I started talking to my friends in Sri Lanka and University of Colombo organized us to go to the villages meet the farmers, better understand the problem, and we formed an international collaborative research team. So we came with a conceptual solution. A, farmers have mobiles, and Sri Lanka has got a very high literacy rate, 92%, one of the highest in Asia. Everyone has this mobile connectivity. If we can get them to share what they are growing, and if we aggregate and inform the others, then we should be able to find a solution to this problem. So we realized, A, farmers need to know what to grow, but also we realized they need to know what has been grown so that they will not grow the same thing. So this is where we came up with a very ingenious solution. With this mobile app, the amount being produced is much less than what is required, around 35%. Those crops on the mobile comes in green. When they reach the 35 to 75% those crops come in yellow and when it is reaching saturation when you show what crops will grow some crops will appear in red so visually we are saying look if you want to grow a crop which is in red think twice you are going to get into a saturation point now this is something we observed which ended up being one of the quite successful applications I thought it would be good to tell that and share that with the students and get them to think outside the box. So we developed this subject social computing where we highlight the possibilities of the connected society and to develop humanitarian applications to help the world at large. The basis is the Sri Lankan app, but it gets refined every year because from professor as well as peers, students also have these innovative ideas. So a combination of them keep developing on top of each other, uh, making the application better and better and user friendly. It's not only applicable to farming, but it can be applied to health, it can be applied to other aspects of life, and it has the potential for a big impact on, on community and on the uh, human well-being.